Colorado, our Capitol Watch for you. The General Assembly in Denver officially in session today. For the next four months, representatives and senators will be working at the state capitol to pass bills on a variety of topics. News 5's Allison Zimmerman reports from Denver tonight. This year, it's a packed agenda. Day one is in the books for the 2023 legislative session, and this session is going to be marked by several firsts, including the first time women make up the majority of lawmakers here at the state capitol. Now, for the most part, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle seem to agree on priorities, but day one is going to be remembered for some disagreements. A melody in the Capitol Rotunda marked the start of the new session. Are there any further nominations? But inside the House chamber, some discord. And I'm requesting a recorded vote. About half of the 19 Republicans now in the State House voting against the incoming Speaker Julie McCluskey. House Minority Leader Mike Lynch joining others in supporting her. He says despite today's disagreement, it's a blip for the session. But yeah, we will move forward as a, as a very cohesive caucus and, uh, and, and do the right thing for Colorado. And lawmakers say they are ready to work. This year, nearly half of lawmakers in the House are brand new to the legislature. The state Senate made up of more seasoned lawmakers, but the priorities being focused on this session are issues we've seen at the Capitol in previous years, from public safety, natural resources, and affordable housing. What do you think is a realistic policy to put in place to make housing more affordable? Um, so, like I said, we have to start with the water conversation because without water you can't have development. I think we also need to talk about some of the regulations that have been put in place the last couple of years that have really hindered growth. It's going to be one of a few topics to watch. Something else, the budget process. Colorado lawmakers are constitutionally required to pass a balanced budget. Especially after COVID, we had such an infusion of federal dollars. Those have by and large washed their way through the system now. So. I think you get a more reasonable, rational look at where where Colorado stands and where the next you know couple of years will be headed. And the latest economic forecast coming out in March will be a key indicator of just how much money is coming into the state right now. And we can also expect some conversations from lawmakers when it comes to gun laws in the state in the wake of the Club Q shooting last year. We'll continue to keep an eye on some of the legislation that's introduced here and walk you through what happens in Denver. Allison Zimmerman, News 5.